Hello everyone and welcome to our Manchester adventure. Today we are taking you on a 20 minute uh, journey um, as, as, as we stroll uh, through uh, the Booth uh, Street and uh, on to, uh, we will pass by different iconic buildings well one of them just to mention but a few uh, is the stock exchange hotel and then we have the saint anne's church uh, which will be at the end but uh, during uh, the walk we shall see quite a number of iconic iconic buildings that form part of this uh, beautiful town center uh, so let's get started so our journey begins here on uh, uh, on this famous booth uh, street which is just a stone throw from the uh, St. Peter's Square where we have um, uh, the mayor's or, or you know they call it the mayor's the mayor's office uh, we will go down uh, all the way to King's uh, Street and pass by the King Street townhouse uh, and then on the top lane, as we stroll, uh, you will catch a glimpse as well of the magnificent uh, Mail Mason uh, Hotel in, in the backdrop. We continue our walk uh, passing uh, the famous Town Hall Tavern. Uh, so let's check uh, the year and in which it was constructed, shall we? Um, the Town Hall Tavern uh, is a Manchester landmark and it was constructed in the 19th century. So imagine the story, um, the history that this place has, has wasted, witnessed. That's the male mason I was talking about. It's one of the iconic hotels here in, uh, in the town centre in Manchester. Beautiful, and this is the King's, uh, the King Street um, townhouse. And so this, there we go. So this one here is the uh, Town Hall Tavern I was talking about, uh, from or constructed in the nineteenth century. The tales and stories that people have have you know have told each other in in this place would be incredible. Uh, in the town center is covered with this um, older buildings uh, which are a very common uh, type of architecture as you travel around around Europe as opposed to the other sides uh, parts of town that we've we've been visiting and this here is the famous across uh, street um, Heading down here, uh, we will find a bustling area teeming with uh, life, and uh, it's everything uh, from barber shops to restaurants and cafes. Um, this place has it all. It must. It is a must uh, visit while uh, you are in in Manchester. Seeing the people uh, moving around here, um, just about their their businesses, and this is a uh, King Street, which we are going to uh, 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 to visit a bit. 
so that you can see what uh, what it has there is the lower or south uh, King Street and this is the main King Street and uh, we are going to try and walk up all the way so that we can see what this place uh, will have will have to offer right here from uh, 55 uh, or 57 it was King Street at the junction so walking up King Street and 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 we will account will we shall encounter some uh, iconic uh, buildings here but yet it's still it's still uh, full of uh, sh some shops and um, not many but uh, it's still full of some shops like the pizzerias that we see here on uh, on the right hand side and uh, there are a few bars at the end uh, right up up there at the end uh, there is um, a few bars and a very very famous hotel again uh, here in in Manchester just by the junction with uh, with the brown state we're just a minute away from it of us we have also another iconic hotel which is called the Gotham uh, Hotel so if you come to Manchester and you're looking for a nice place to stay this would be uh, one of those hotels that uh, uh, could be uh, your choice just like the Malmaison that we saw uh, uh, some few minutes ago when we started the video uh, along um, or in the backdrop of the Booth Street and now this is um, the Brown Street which if we followed all the way would take us to the Market Street and the Andal Centre. We're going to explore a bit of that this street and see uh, what was here because these are uh, uh, beautiful buildings as well uh, on, 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 this, on this street. Yeah, so let's ad let's admire uh, the stunning architecture and and catch views of some of the uh, town towers right at the uh, at the end. Um, and as you can see, some of these buildings, I think this will be a, a typical Gothic uh, style or architecture uh, with the Brown's house on. deep into the area they call the spring gardens uh, right in front of us will be the zenith the zenith, the zenith uh, sorry this the zenith uh, building or the zenith house beautiful piece of architecture as well and my favorite on this street is right here on our right hand side where the first floor is covered with a vertical garden the block beautiful setup So we're going to go uh, further down and um, past this zenith uh, uh, building and if we walk to the side all the way down uh, it will bring us to the uh, market street but um, we are not going to go to the market street because we've been there before and I'll, I'm going to take you Yes, so uh, this is where I wanted to bring you and this is called the Norfolk Street and um, it uh, 
it hosts one of the best hotels in town which is called uh, the uh, uh, the stock exchange hotel that's uh, uh, you may have heard about uh, if you've been in Manchester and uh, this used to be um, back in the years it used to be the uh, the stock exchange so it has been refurbished uh, it was bought by um, um, two very famous footballers who used to play for the uh, Manchester United um, the company I think is called GG Hospitality so they've made this place a wonderful wonderful uh, hotel and it has already a uh, um, restaurant which has uh, Michelin stars so it's a really really nice place if uh, you have the money to spend a uh, beautiful stock exchange as well So now we are back on uh, on the uh, cross street where uh, we were saying uh, before that it is uh, bustling with businesses of all types from barber shops to restaurants cafes uh, name them um, even the banks uh, you will find them here and this is this area here as you've seen is a must for those who are visiting Manchester and love architecture but also I love going to places where uh, the locals go and this is a typical example of one of the areas that you have to visit Now we are on, I think it's uh, called Lower or South uh, King Street. Um, it is also full of businesses, uh, cafes and, and restaurants, uh, but also people come here uh, to worship. And I'm going to show you that right now, uh, where we're going to enter into this beautiful, beautiful landmark here, right in the middle of the city before uh, we end uh, this video. So we've crossed now to the southern end of this King Street and and we reach this uh, significant landmark as I said and it's called the St Anne's Church right in the heart of town. Uh, this architectural uh, masterpiece dates back centuries. Um, we will try, as we admire from uh, the building from, from outside, we will try and see if we can walk uh, into the church, really, if uh, there's no congregation right now, and um, see if we can, um, we can, we can visit the, uh, the interior and, and be able to admire uh, what it looks like. I've never been in there before, so it's going to be my first time and your first time. So we're going to do this uh, together. So let's step inside uh, St. Anne's Church and explore its history uh, with the Mass uh, that has, has, has ended already. Uh, so we'll have the privilege of capturing its uh, serene beauty. Uh, just look at, uh, uh, I mean, watch, try to watch everything closely and, and, and do not um, blink so that you don't miss uh, any, any detail. It's a beautiful, it's not the biggest church, but it's a beautiful church right here, and it's been here for centuries. Look at those ceilings. The 
Beautiful. Um, that shows, uh, or it is a testament of uh, to the remarkable craftsman uh, sheep of a bygone era. It's beautiful. They have a complete buffet here for everyone. Uh, so as we step out of St. Ch uh, St. Anne's Church, we conclude. Uh, we're going to conclude our our journey through uh, Manchester's history and uh, and architecture. I spoke to the guys inside, asked them for permission, and they wholeheartedly allowed me to film. So it's been a privilege, uh, really. We hope you've enjoyed uh, this incredible adventure. Uh, with us and i uh, remember to subscribe to our channel uh, for more explorations like this thank you for your support and until next time uh, keep exploring <laughs>